on today's episode of Cooking with Tovia, I'm going to show you guys how to make this super easy and absolutely delicious apple crisp pie. You'll be able to find all the ingredients you need for today's demonstration in the description box under this video. Please follow me on social media at this video to your playlist and please give me a thumbs up for today's recipe. So I'm going to begin with my gala apples here that I've already peeled, cored, and cut. And I cut them to my desired size as long as they're the same size. Okay, so this is really easy. There's no cooking involved. Just throw it together. Cinnamon, brown sugar. I have here sunflower oil. I have vanilla extract. This vanilla gives it beautiful flavor. Toss everything together. So everything is well coated. Gonna sprinkle over some all-purpose flour. If you don't want to use flour, you can leave it out. But the flour just makes the filling very thick. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside while we work on the crumble topping. And by that time, some of the juices will naturally release from the apples. For the crumble, it's fairly easy. I have here old-fashioned oatmeal, and I have some brown sugar. You can use dark or light brown sugar. I have a recipe in the description box on how to make brown sugar, and I just added some cinnamon to that. My flour, and give everything a mix. And then I have my butter that's very cold. It's cut into cubes. So we're gonna add our cubed butter. And then what I'm just gonna do is just mix everything together. Now you can use your fingers to press this apart if you desire, but I have here a, a pastry blender. So we're just going to break this up until everything resembles pea-sized crumbs. So the pastry blender has this sort of broken up. So I'm just going to take my fingers and just squeeze everything together. Make sure all that flour is coated with the butter, the flour and sugar is well coated. I have a nine inch pie tin here and I have my pre-rolled pie crust that I got from the store. And we're gonna just kind of place that into the pan and allow it to fall in naturally. So now I'm gonna take the top of my crust and just fold it under. Just, you know, from the quarter, quarter inch from the top of the edge of the crust. We're just folding it under, all the way around. After folding the edge of the crust, we're going to crimp the edge, making sure that the top of the crust is on the edge of the lip of the pie. And as you see here, I'm just taking my thumb and my pointing finger and just placing it to the top edge of the pie and I'm using the opposing hand to make an indentation, placing my finger in the next space and just to keep it even. Now we're just going to pour our apples in, right in the middle, because this is so super easy. You guys are going to love this recipe. We're going to take our crumb topping, and I'm just going to crumble that and just drop it on the pie. Now if you want to brush the edges of your crust with egg wash, you can. You could. I'm going to do so. I'm creating the egg wash, which is my egg and a couple drops of water. You can use the egg yolk only or the egg white only or the whole egg. The point of the egg wash is it's just from any part of the egg with another bit of liquid such as water or milk or cream. And it's used to brush to brown your crust. Use a whole egg, you'll see it's gonna come sort of a nice, beautiful golden color. But I'm beating really well to make sure the egg is broken up. And I'm gonna brush the edges of this pie. Okay, so I like to brush the edges. And guys, if you're looking for a sweet potato pie recipe or pecan pie recipe, please just check for it on my channel or check the description box and or the end of this video, the end cards. And you will see those links to those recipes. So my oven is preheated at 375 degree Fahrenheit. And this is going to bake for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the crust 
edges are golden and the top is nice and bubbly brown. Okay, so it's been exactly 30 minutes in my oven. I won't be giving these a taste test because this is not for me. But we have two very beautiful apple crisp pies or apple crumble pies. So we just let these cool off completely. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to package them. So I'm going to let these cool completely and then I'm going to package them. My packaging is going to be quite simple. I just have a deep pie box here. Um, I couldn't find a really large one, a little bit larger than I needed, so I'm just working with what I could find. My store here is terrible. But I just placed my pie inside of the box and let's put the lid on. So this is excellent. You can take the size of the box, to, you know, down if you need to, need be. But um, that's how you package your pies. Also, always try to use, you know, clean, dry hands, residue free hands, so that way your packaging can stay nice and clean. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate all of you taking the time to watch my content and share my content and support me. Um, please remember guys, we really need to come together. So much devastation in this world. Please remember to live and be well. Thank you so much for watching.